Hi, I'm Candice, and I'm going to show you how to train like an angel. I'm here with my trainer, Justin. Candice and I are going to demonstrate for you a full body workout. We're going to take you through two stretches, six full body exercises, and then two stretches at the end. Today, we're going to demonstrate five repetitions of each exercise. And then for you, you can go up to 10 to 15, and the workout will be around 20 to 30 minutes. Let's begin. It's really important to start your exercise program with two to three stretches to get your body warmed up. So what Candice is going to do is going to take her arm, it's going to reach straight up to the sky, she's going to stretch through her obliques, she's going to get some stretch in the lower hip and the back of her calves. You're going to do five repetitions here with Candice, but at home you're going to do 10 to 15. Our second stretch is going to incorporate a little bit more of the inner and outer thighs, the hip, and the stomach. So what Candice is going to do is have her right arm reach on a diagonal as her back leg goes in the back onto the toe, which really lengthens and strengthens the body. Now we're going to get to our workout. Let's introduce the little ankle weights that you're going to use with your arms before we put them on our ankles. So what Candice is going to demonstrate She's going to have her feet slightly apart, a little bend in the knees. She's going to do a nice long stretch and a right arm punch. The key behind the weights is to give you some balance and stability. These are great for traveling because, you know, just for a quick workout in the hotel room, I can use them on my ankles and as well as dumbbells. The next exercise, she's going to hold the weights towards her side, do a nice long stretch, come over, and then pull in so she's actually utilizing her side. And the idea when you do a workout is you want to strengthen within from the toe to the head. So you're strengthening your whole entire body. Now we're going to jump into the next exercise. We're going to stagger the feet. She's going to have one foot in the front, a nice little slight bend. She's going to hold the weights nice and firm. So she's working the bicep and the tricep as well as the shoulder. She's going to come down very slow, light little bend. And then she's going to go up and down, keeping the resistance. I feel this exercise mostly in my thighs and in the glutes at the back. It doesn't look like you're doing much, but it really burns. <laughs> From that position, we're gonna come down to one knee. She's just gonna do a nice long stretch. She's gonna open up her hip, her stomach, regroup her breathing. People at home, make sure you're breathing. It's really important. All right, so you're gonna put on your ankle weights. We're gonna go down to the elbow, nice and controlled. You're gonna point your toe to lengthen. All right, you're gonna do a nice little lift and then back down to butt level. And the coolest part about doing these types of exercises is changing the angles. So you can do it on a diagonal and then you can bring your leg actually down a little bit and start close to the floor and then bring it up to butt level. Utilizing the back of your leg right up towards the little part of your butt and then when you're doing it from a higher level, you're actually working more of the middle to the top of your butt. So our last exercise, we're gonna have her lay on her side, and she's gonna do a nice little push, straight out and then forward. The idea about shaping your hip, your butt, and your thigh is to really change the angles. The good thing about these exercises is if you've worked all day, you don't have to stand up, you just lie down and do the work. It's important to me. <laughs> now we're gonna lose the ankle weights and get into our last part of our routine. It's really important you stretch when you're done exercising so you don't feel tight to the point where you get injured. So nice and controlled, you're gonna have a slight bend. You're gonna let the leg slide all the way back and you're gonna reach all the way forward. This stretch is really elongating your sides, your inner thigh, your outer thigh, your hip, your arms. And then from there, you're gonna work on your posture. You grab your leg, now get a nice stretch in the hip and in the thigh. And again, stretching is a progression, so you do it at your own pace and ability. Last little part of the stretch, take both hands, lock them through, reach up to the side, reach over to the side. And take your arm and put it behind and stretch for your tricep. On the other side. And last but not least, really important, stretch your neck. Nice and controlled. Stretch the side. Candace and I just finished our full body workout. Please take your time. Feel the motions, feel the movement. Breathe, control, slow motions, and exercise workout fit for you. And that's how to train like an angel.